Good evening. Um, for this second concept that we're going to be talking about, it is looking at reading through research articles and kind of navigating what that looks like. Um, so part of the University of West Georgia, we have access to Galileo along with all with most of the USG system schools. Um, once you sign in with your information, you have access to all the library databases across the university system. Um, so in the education field, we know that education is changing all the time. So I wanted to try to find an article about how education was changing um, and that really come about um, really prevalent through the pandemic. And so when you're searching Galileo, you can use um, the search filter. You can search for keywords, type in what you're looking for, um, even have, if I go back here before this one, you can select a type, academic journals, conference materials, reports, reviews, magazines, scholarly peer-reviewed journals. And that's what I clicked on here. Um, and I clicked um, changing education system at universities and the pandemic process based on opinions and members of the faculty and students. So when you get here, you're going to see a lot of different things. And each one is formatted differently. This one, you have access to the URL that's going to open that website up. Once you click that, it's going to link here to this um, from the Open Global Tr um, Trusted Website, International Journal of Emerging Technologies and Learning of May of 2021. You'll have the title here of your article or journal along with the authors, and you can um, see the affiliations here as well um, and the volume numbers and the page numbers of that as well if that comes into your citing. It gives you access to easily see the abstract here, um, and it's gonna, and you can read what um, it's about in a quick paragraph before you go through the pages, and that's gonna be identified with the word abstract. Here from this website, you can click the read online button, and it's gonna open up this document right here. This is the PDF version of our document that we just saw, and you'll see it's. Uh, on page of 17 in my PDF reader um, may look a little different than yours depending on the type of computer you use. Um, but you'll of course see the title that each article will have, the website it's given credit to for having, um, the articles and affiliations as well. You also will see the keywords here, um, COVID-19, pandemic, online education, distance education, and there's that word I typed in, changing education. When you look through articles, you're gonna see these big keywords that separate these sections, like introduction, um, and you scroll down, object, objective of the study, method, and take note of the size here. These are our headings and the sections of each one of these. So you'll see 2.2 is method and you'll see 2.1. We're still under the method section and you'll scroll down here and you also need to be aware of tables inside of each of these articles. They may have tables, they may have graphs, um, they may even have footers and things that have notes about what you're reading. Um, we, it looks like we're missing a section because we jumped to 3.1 to 3.4 here and we're missing that section of this journal. Um, but as we're scrolling through here, you're kind of seeing that the volume number here, the page number out of the entire journal, because we're not on page 247 of this document. Um, so it kind of identifies the important parts of this um, as you're going through. This is also downloadable. If you need to download or print off, that is an option for you. And then we also have um, where we give our references here, and it's actually missing that page here. So this is not a correct layout with what we're used to. And it also has our author's page as well. So this kind of gives you an overview of what these articles will look like um, as you're reading through them in your studies. Um, between the different tables, identifying your page numbers here on the bottom um, if you're citing a specific page of this document um, and that was the only thing you needed, um, identifying the sections and the headings here with 3.4, the same with 1 and 2 up here as well. Um, 
do explore these articles um, and pay attention as you're moving through, of course, your authors. You're um, giving credit to other references inside here, um, and they're citing their sources. Um, but this is just a brief overview of how to kind of sort through these sort um, these things um, where you'll be spending a lot of time in your readings and your studies. So I look forward to your comments, um, and we'll see you next time.